on this season of Chasing LA. Hi you guys, my name is Alicia Love. I am talented, beautiful, and I just wanna spread love. I'm different from this group because I'm showing you the actual ground up work when it comes to actually chasing a city. This is my actual life. I've had part-time jobs, full-time jobs, while trying to maintain my career and somehow, I made it work. I'm an entrepreneur, songwriter, singer, vocalist, and I produce my own music. The home of the lituation has come to LA, and I'm here to shake things up. I'm really looking forward to making some friends here in LA. It's sharks out there, man. Look at this view. Do you see this? It's sharks out there. Person like if I'm I match vibes and I match energies, you know what I mean? And I don't really hold any punches and sometimes that can be like polarizing for some people. In the middle of a national crisis, I have my business, I'm an entrepreneur, royal flyness, I'm a battle rapper and a rapper, so I'm closing out my album. I honestly feel like in this day and time, especially in COVID season, you gotta have many different sources of income. You know, I got to call you and follow up with you about the uh, the song here in a few. I was telling him earlier that I'm yeah. featuring you um, on one of my songs or whatever, so that's going to be pretty hot. Where is your song? Where is your product? You're coming soon. I know Jesus. I love Jesus, but I can't give you all these hands if needed. Don't let, don't let this Kim Kardashian shit you, bitch. They want to classify you, but you are. And you're a man. Little crazy on the other side, but that's okay. We all are. Y'all are going to be the best of the best. This year is about me stepping outside of my comfort zone. You fucking dusty ass bitch! You know what? I try to keep peace with everybody. Show that shit that you don't want people to see. Stop fucking talking to me. You, you did not want me to bring this up because you didn't want your brand to be attacked. Got y'all got ass on the plane. <laughs> That's this bitch. We're about to do other things. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> and I'm 
rode a mega bus. <laughs> That's how you got here? We in LA. What's happening? It's so good to how see you. been since you've been here? Things are going great. Um, I've been staying low, you know, because of the coronavirus. And I've just been finding. You're going to wear your shades this whole time? Bitch, you just came out here and got Hollywood. You're going to these goddamn shades off. Yeah, you know, I have to do what I do. It's good to see y'all. Things are right here. I Crap in Atlanta. <laughs> What's going on, you guys? It's Jeremy Copeland. I'm a celebrity choreographer here in Los Angeles and a dancer. I've worked with Beyonce, Jennifer Lopez, Ariana Grande, Pharrell, Kanye West, Mariah Carey. Can you imagine that? And I'm only 30 years old. Been in the city for about 15 years. I'm from New York, went to Atlanta, now I'm in the big city of Hollywood living out my dreams. And I cannot wait for you guys to see what I've been chasing. So Jeremy is a good friend of mine who I hang out with. Y'all know Jeremy from the yeah. ATL. Yeah. Definitely want y'all to meet Jeremy. Valentine. What you remember? I shot y'all. You remember? Yes, I shot y'all. Yes, 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 yes. That's yes. how we first. And uh -huh. yeah, so we we met there, but we've always hang out at TS Madison House. Mm -hmm. So I want you guys to also meet my friend Jayla. Ooh, Ooh. Yeah. Girl, she is body in hell. This I is know, all the twist. This I is Lauren her. England. Hey, I like her. Oh, girl, she's yeah. catty. She's fighting. This is my friend Jeremy. Hey, this is Jeremy. How are you? What's up? Nice to meet How you. How you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm doing great. What's up, baby? How are you? I'm well, Queen. Good to see you. Nice to see you too. Hey, everybody. This is Jayla J. Lauren. I'm from Northern Califia. Now I reside here in Los Angeles. I'm out here chasing my dream. I'm a songwriter, entrepreneur, singer, vocalist, and I produce. And I'm just ready to see what's popping out here. You know, my thick ass needs somewhere to uh, get to singing and performing and uh, get this show on the road. You feel me? So I actually met Jayla here at a uh, pose party a few years ago. And yes, she was like, Q, yes. you should get a group together in L.A. Do something in L.A. So now you're here, you gonna do it? I don't know. I moved to Los Angeles to kind of chill and not be so much in the spotlight and just kind of focus on oh. me. Oh. Yeah. Let's just say this. Make sure these bitches got some money and some real jobs for things. Here she go. Oh. She just met you. Here you go. She oh. just met you. I didn't say her. I'm just saying. Oh, say you met her. Her. No, I her. her. I didn't say her. No, not I her. I said I'm if just... he gonna put a group together. I hope they do this too. It... I'm just oh saying. I'm not worried about who you hold. Hey. Hey. This is all of us. Good to meet you in my world. Now I'm just like my Networking. I met her when she first moved to LA. You got your dream. Hey, baby. That's right. We got the OG of reality TV himself. Y'all knew I could not get a group together without getting Mr. Ray in the building. Y'all know he's the king of getting groups together. Baby, he makes the group fall out, get back together. He gets the tea. Y'all know we about to be in for a wild ride. Mr. Ray is here. I didn't know you knew her. I'm a Hollywood girl. You know, we be out. You a what? I'm a Hollywood girl. You a what? I'm a Hollywood girl. I be like, I be like, my name is Sabrina and I am from Hollywood. Listen! Where you from, Sabrina? So yeah, so I'm putting together this new group. You know what I'm saying? I want everybody to network and that's why I wanted you here because I'm not going to be around as often. So I told these young bitches, you know the young days, they wild girl. They tell everything on social media. I know we not here for a long time. Y'all not here for a long time. Right. But we gonna ball out like, you know what I'm saying? Like, on, one, your, on your car. Uh, on that WeTV. <laughs> <laughs> you come up with the WeTV chair right now. Let's cheers to the, the chase. chase. To the chase. And let's go live it up in LA, girl. Yeah. Yeah. We gonna go to all our cups empty, though. Right. right. <laughs> so let's go back. To, let's go back to the bar. Let's go back to the bar, bitch. That's why I got two of them. <laughs> To the Puriana. It's the official King Pain, y'all, and I'm chasing LA. Yes, I'm in Los Angeles. Period. The home of the lituation has come to LA, and I'm here to shake things up. Y'all already know when I talk, bitches move, but I'm here, okay, to get my business off the ground. Period. Period. To period. So today I'm getting ready to have brunch with one of my really, really close friends. A lot of you guys may already know him, but if you don't, 
Okay, you getting ready to meet him. Okay, period. 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 Well, period. Hey, what brings you to LA? No, bitch. Let's talk about the fact that you beat me to LA. Period. I told you, girl. I told you. It is the one and only VR Mile Wiggins, okay? 10 years ago, we used to sit around and manifest moving to LA. It's just a matter of time before he is here also, and that's just over here. Like, I'm so proud of you. I cannot believe that you're here in this moment and you're out here doing it like, I feel literally. How is the business going? Everything's going good. I've been meeting all kind of celebrity clients. Oh, this is a celebrity for me. Yeah, this is a celebrity for me, girl. You kind of looking like a celebrity. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay. I know I look a little different than anything. Okay, you okay. feeling different, but you know? I'm the same you know, old in two ways. Okay. You know, being out here, it's it. There are challenges. You know, I used to live out here, and I had to move back. You got to be very wary of your surroundings. Okay. You know what I mean? Make sure that the people that you surround yourself with are for you. These girls can be very, very nasty. Absolutely. And you can get distracted easy. So you want to make sure that you focus because you don't want to be like one of those girls out there, you know, chasing the dream and ends up pushing cartons and picking up, you know, uh, a recycling container for $2 on the fucking highway. There's a lot of cute bums out here in LA. You don't want to be a cute bum drifting Versace, but bitch with nowhere to stay. Let's see how that never. So you I'm not even out it. here for all the mess, I'm not out here for all the drama. So with that being said, there's this big networking party tonight that I've been invited to. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna meet some new people, and I'm really looking forward to making some friends here in LA. One thing, one thing I will caution you is make strategic enemies and strategic partners, okay? Because everybody has a role. It's, remember, this is chess, not checkers. Her. And you cannot check the checker. So that you need to always be the checker. So make sure you're always two steps ahead of the game because you never know how the game is played, you know? So you want to focus and, and just be smart. Look at this view, bitch. Do you see this? It's sharks out there, bitch. Yeah. Hopefully my man is out there. Hopefully your man is out there. But listen, yeah. bring it back. It's sharks out there. So I want you to focus, you know what I mean? And understand that friends are good. Business is better. Other than that, you got it. I'm happy for you. And you're not you're not really a confrontational person. You seem, you know, you're a bubbly person. Everybody likes you for the most part. So you know what I always say? You're not turned up with things turn over. You gonna be upside down. <laughs> <laughs> They're not even ready for me, friend. They are not even ready. The money is out there. And my future is out there, okay? And you already know I'm gonna get it. And that is why you are my bitch, and that's why I support you. And I can't wait to see what you do out here. So bitch, let's turn up. Yeah. To LA. To LA. To chasing your dreams. To chase my dreams. To business. To business. To new beginnings. Yes. To yes. money on the floor. To money on the floor. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Andre Hammonds, who's the celebrity stylist for the new movie, You Married That. What's up guys, my name is Andre. I'm a fashion stylist and a creative director. A lot of people know my work from reality stars, from Black Ink Crew to Love and Hip Hop, even to The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And I just recently competed on a makeover series, The Look All Stars. I guess you could say I dibble and dabble in a little bit of everything, because I've thrown events and launch parties for magazines, influencers, you name it, I've done it. Andre, tell us what is it like styling for this movie? Working on this movie has been absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. It is jam-packed with influencers, A-list talent, and the who's who of Hollywood. And I'm just humble and honored to be in the space, doing my thing, able to showcase my craft, work it. with so many amazing people, and be mentored and learn along the way, child. That's what it's all about. Now, a lot of people do know me for my celebrity-based styling, but what they don't know is that I do costume and wardrobe design for commercial, television, and film. 
And today, you guys get to come with me behind the scenes to my job on the movie set of You Married That. It's a spinoff of a hit YouTube series called You Hidden It, written and starring Jahan Jones, Lisa Ray, April Jones, and a whole bunch of other fun people. Hey, hey. Hey, Liz. How are you? What's up? How are you? Oh, I'm doing so good. Good to see ya. I know, this is going so good. <laughs> well, the thing about it though is this is what we live for, right? Right, this exactly. This is what we do, so. Exactly. I'm just so happy to have you here. I'm happy that Thank you had you. me and I appreciate you and just what you have poured into me and poured into my life throughout this experience has just been amazing and it feels just divine. Like, I just love you so much. I love you more than life itself. Martise is such an amazing, amazing person. I recently connected with him on the set of You Married That and he's been mentoring me and helping to guide me throughout my career. I mean, it's not very often that you get to meet genuine, caring people that really want to see you do well and Martise is all of those things and more. Martise, I am riding with you till the wheels fall off and You Married That is gonna be fantastic because we did that. This is a lifelong dream, right? You know, I've been doing it for a long time. I've worked with so many celebrities over the years and you know, music videos, but to be producing right. my own series with Elijah Kelly and Clifton Alexander, it, it's a dream come true. And to know that I'm bringing you in on this project and Amina in on this project. I'm so excited. This has all just been like one big networking thing, right? Yep. And I have actually, I found this networking event coming up really soon in Long Beach. Um, and I'm gonna go check it out. It's supposed to be some movers and some shakers. And okay. you know, I wanna surround myself with like-minded people, people who are on a upward trajectory that's making moves, that's yes. being a boss. So I think putting myself out there, especially like in LA, try to get to know more people, expand my network. Of it course. just feels like the right thing to do, you know? Yeah. This year is about me stepping outside of my comfort zone, so I, I'm, I'm gonna just give it all I got, I guess, and hope for the best. Most important, be yourself. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, let's get back to this function. <laughs> <laughs> get back to work, please. Woo. Coming up on Chasing LA. <laughs> what y'all do? I'm a drink. You make it's a lot of money high. doing that? I make cute coins. I'm not gonna say a lot. Because I've never seen them girls pick up too much money. <laughs> Baby, if you don't know who I am by now, shame on you. My name is Imani Van Zach, and I'm here to help you your shit. Well, as promised and as desired, we are back. Chasing Reality is ready to take on the scene again with an all new season in an all new city. Next up is Chasing LA. I'm so ready to meet my new family and see what all my babies have in store for me. Maybe from what I hear, it's already a lot of drama going on and I already saw one chair flying through the air. I don't know if they're ready for auntie, but they better get ready. This is Imani Van Zandt and I'll see you soon. Bye, baby. Everybody, it's your girl Chocolate Beauty. For those of you who don't know me, I am a vlogger in these YouTube streets. If you're interested in reviews on your favorite reality television shows, web series, latest celebrity news, trending hot topics, or all things pop culture, this channel is for you. And if you want to have a more serious discussion about topics that matter, this channel is for you too. So pretty much, I keep you entertained and informed all at the same time. Make sure that you guys follow me under all my social media platforms. You can find me under the hashtag ChocolateBeauty81. Hopefully, I will see you on my channel. Alicia 
your love. I am originally from Washington, D.C., and I currently live in Long Beach, California. I am a activist, writer, and model, and I'm just all around talented, beautiful, and I just want to spread love. What's up, Chase in LA? I'm Francisco, aka Friend the One. Um, I'm originally from Atlanta. I moved out to LA about two years ago to pursue my goal in acting, modeling, and an inspiring personality. What you see is what you get, type of girl, you know, boy, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm very out there, free with myself, and a little crazy on the other side, but that's okay. We all are. Hope you guys like what you see. So, it's the first night. I'm getting ready to go and meet the group for the very, very first time. And I cannot lie, my nerves are a little bit on edge. And I'm not gonna lie, I've been drinking just a little bit. I usually stick to brown liquor, but tonight I brought out the Tito's vodka. So who knows what's gonna happen. What's up, y'all? This is Quan, Quan the Poet. I'm a poet, writer, author, motivational speaker, hood spiritualist, meaning I know Jesus, I love Jesus, but I can give you all these hands if needed. The girl stay talking, but I'm at peace with it because Hershey melts in your mouth and not your hand. Hello everybody, my name is Hershey LaCour Jate of the legendary House of Jate here in Los Angeles, California. And I'm a drag queen. Did you not know this? So I'm here in LA, I'm getting ready to meet the other girls. I'm trying to see what everybody about. Period, I wanna know who 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 are these other girls, okay? Because I'm here. So I, I'm excited to meet everyone. I am, I'm gonna give everybody an opportunity to get to know me, okay? But tread lightly, okay? Because I, I, I'm not a big fan of second chances, okay? You cross me once, you'll never get an opportunity to cross me again. Oh, I thought we was over here with Beyonce. Hey, girl! Beyonce, I was more like Kelly. What's your name again? Alicia. Alicia, yeah. okay, I'm with my little sister name. Really? Yeah. And you are? Oh, official King Kane. King Kane. King Kane. Yeah, like King okay. Kane, but King Kane. Don't forget right. the official. Yeah, don't forget the official. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's very much so part of my name. So, <laughs> what y'all do? I'm a drag queen. You make it's a lot of money doing that? I make cute coins. I'm not gonna say a lot. Hey, Cause I've never seen them girls pick up too much money. Um, King's comment about drag queens not making money. I don't know what drag queens he knows or who he's associating himself with. You can look, you can scroll my videos, I mean, you see the money on the floor. So, that didn't concern me, it didn't shake me, I wasn't bothered. So what's going on, Jason? It's your boy, D. Hawkins. All the way from a small town called Tyler, Texas, but now residing here in LA. As you can see, your boy has his hands in many different things. Interior design, creative direction, model, upcoming singer, Watch out for that EP to come soon enough. I honestly feel like in this day and time, especially in COVID season, you got to have many different sources of income. So also, add in that OnlyFans. Well, you look very familiar. Looks I feel like I've seen you, like you like seen a before. lot before. Yeah. You probably seen me on like some campaigns, okay. like you know, like modeling or like creative directions. Okay. Or, um, okay. or you might have dreamed about me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but the good thing. I was like, hopefully for good things. Oh, good. nothing but good things. <laughs> Wonderful. I bring the greatness. So far, I'm really feeling the group. Like, everybody seems hella cool. Like, I haven't been out in a long time, so I'm really enjoying myself. I've kind of seen some of the people on Instagram. I'm not really sure what they do. I hope they can explain to me what they do, because I haven't figured out via social media. Um, so yeah, we'll just see how this goes. All Jeremy can do is just sit back, relax, and mind my business. My question is who you don't see it for? You know? I don't know if I'm supposed to answer this person. We should go around and ask this. <laughs> I think it's on me this time. I, I see bags going around this table. Except for over here. <laughs> okay, not like that. But what she does, and I already told her over there, I was like, girl, um, she, she does drag. And the drag, you know, they don't make that much money like that. So while I was sitting at the table, I heard Mr. King Payne make a comment about um, drag performers not making enough money. I'm not sure what performers he knows, but I'm sure Hershey 
and along with myself, make good money. To be honest, I don't think really, I didn't care what King Payne was saying. You don't perform. Right, my bills are paid, so I'm good. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> I hope everybody bills paid at this table. My bills. Waitress. <laughs> <True. laughs> so King, it's, it's like 58 degrees. What you paying? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> I'm better than the sexy. So, whenever you see this go like this, it's either hot, or it's dusty, or it's something I don't agree with. Somebody making it up. And like I told you earlier, it's I see the Missy the... Elliott, I can't stand the rain. I, I see the trash man. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> right now, like Miss Missy Elliott. And she's sickening, so you should live. The trash of it all. Girl, completely. A pussy hole could never. This sissy wants problems with the king. If I look like Missy Elliott, you look like Hank. Hey, what you're giving me? Oh, what, you're giving me? <laughs> what am I giving you, girl? You're giving oh, me shit. very much uh, Skeletor, very, very, very much Chief King, very much Mr. Very much conceited, very much making it up, very much doubtful, very much self hating, very much self doubting. Dollar Tree never, girl. All I heard was, boo 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 boo. So I had to do it. I mean, he was wearing a plastic bag for Christ's sake. Like, in this case, if the plastic bag fits, wear it. What's that guy that did that song with Chief Payne? Oh, it shit, wasn't bro. you. Oh, oh, Acorn! Acorn! Yes, it's gonna be very much Acorn! 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 At this moment, I'm just looking for the waitress because I ordered a drink like 45 minutes ago and they had not hit the table yet if I, if I recall correctly. I just wanted my refill. We just met each other. <laughs> we just met each other. We just met each other. Why is everybody so upset? I'm really trying to figure out what just happened. We got Andre and King just going off on each other and I really don't understand. Like, y'all both dark, y'all both ugly, y'all both in terrible fashions. What y'all arguing about? What y'all mad about? Cause he said he's the uh, king of LA or something. Like, girl, sit down. Cause you're really not. I asked you to your face. You said you didn't have nothing And I said to your motherfucker. Wait, 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 wait. What you have to say? Hold on. 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 Why are we arguing? We came here to meet each other, we came here to be creatives and just really see what each other are about. Leave the mess is the way I'm feeling at this point. We get straight to business. Go, 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 go. Now let's be clear. I'm not above throwing a little bit of shade and going tit for tat, word for word. But what you're not gonna do is get your big tired ass up out your seat and walk around like you gonna approach me. Listen, boo, I don't have to throw no hands because my words are daggers and clearly they're getting to you because you took the need to take a little bit of cardio around the table to address the boss. The one, the one that you love, the one that you want to be like. I don't give a fuck who you are, I don't give a fuck what you do, bitch, I am motherfucking Andre. Period! So if you sitting over there look like Missy Elliott with a motherfucking trash bag on, you can get handled. boop a doop a boop 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 Next time on Chasing LA. Y'all seen her come for me. She keep coming for me, she keep coming for me. I'm like, girl, that's not what you want. Don't, don't, let, don't let this Kim Kardashian get oh, you, you, bitch. Kim Kardashian. I didn't cast, you I, didn't, are. I didn't classify you, you but are. you are. And you are a so man. You're not a gay man. And you're a man. And I've been ignoring that fat ass well. I mind my motherfucking business. She's not about that life. She can't call me no motherfucking man. You a trans queen, right? Right? Stop your ass up out of here with your Patrick star boots. Thank you. You 40 something years old. No, man. You're 40 something years old. Get your life together. And I am Compton, Compton, I am him. And I am.